This is Junkyard Gear, and today we are reviewing a pedal which is not junk at all. Well, this is definitely not something you would find in a dumpster, because it's not even in the production yet. Uh, this is a prototype of the KHDK Unicorn Blood Mark II, which is about to go in the production very soon. Uh, it's, a, it's an Octafuzz pedal, and uh, very soon there's going to be 420 pieces, limited edition for sale. For <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's find out what, what, what's what. So this is our clean sound. This is pretty awesome. This is like this is this is pretty this is pretty great for an overdrive like It responds whether you really dig into it or not. It's Usually the Octafuzz pedals are all over the place and they're really gainy, but I wasn't expecting that you could dial this kind of overdrive tone in it. This, this is great. What do all these freaking switches do? Let's try to mess this up. Uh, well, let's start with gain. All right, so I'll so give I'll, you more gain. All right, so I'll be playing and you'll be fiddling with the knobs. All right. Okay. 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 All right. This is awesome. Let, let me let me if, you, if you were all about that bass. Yeah. There's a there's a fat switch. <laughs> Well, it definitely gives some lower frequencies, like not bass, it's like lower mid-range, but it, 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 has, <laughs> it definitely has more body. Uh, gives you the hump. <laughs> it gives you the hump. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's great. I, I love it. The next toggle is called Boost, so let's, let's find out what it does. All right. Well, it's well this is interesting. Uh, did you notice any difference? Yeah. At first, I think it's it's much more audible uh, when uh, the also the fat switch is turned on. Ah, all right. I like how the notes are falling apart, basically. Well, it sounds like it's alive. Yeah, well, it's got this great synth part to it. Like, like.
I wish I, play, I wish I could play this better. <laughs> well, uh, there's one other toggle switch, it's called Sludge. This, oh, this is, is evil. That's fake. Fuck. And, and, for, and for the neck pick up, it got this singing quality to it. Like, uh, single note riffs um, we haven't tried the octave yet oh yeah hey hey check this out if, if we turn back the volume now it's also reacting to it. How much volume do you have right now? <laughs> I've got all the volume I want. So, so right now I'm about halfway. This is like, this is full. This is about half. With the full volume and full chords, it's a bit too harsh, right? Well, it, it's harsh, but that's, it's octopus. It's what you get, right? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it for like six string chords. Well, this sounds pretty good. Well, okay, minor chords. Just for just for reference, this is clean sound. <laughs> yeah, that's well. This good. chord is a bit too complicated for it. Yeah, I know. But but if you play, if you just turn it off again, if you play like a regular major chord. That's doable. Okay. And uh, so if I dial back the volume a bit. And if I or if I have it full and dial the tone a bit. This is full. Well, this is super sensitive for dynamics. Like, it doesn't get you, it, it, it won't let you get, get away with anything. But. Well, 
what I really like about this pedal is that it really responds well to either your playing dynamics or the volume control. <laughs> Now if I just turn it back, back slightly There's a lot of that like ring modulator sound when you when you dial the volume lower, right? Well, it's even it's still there when I when I have volume in full blast. Whenever you're playing octave pedal, don't be don't be afraid to play chords on it because you never know what's what's going to come out. So, for example, if you play just major third. If you guys remember Limp Bizkit, we, we sent them to do. Sure. Yeah. This is like teleport back to the seventh grade. Yeah, sorry. Uh, how I, I had to do it. Uh, however, uh, uh, I really like how how you can basically trigger an extra octave down with just your playing. Just. Uh You can hear it just creates How did you do it? Basically, what's just going on there? Straight a D, just single D note. Then just D power chord, basically, is D with the fifth. And then I add, then I add major third. So. You know, you can basically, it reminds, it's, it's a bit of a wow pedal, it is. Like, this, this, this happens when you, when well, you yeah, slowly yeah, pull like the wow pedal. Like that one spot that just sounds yeah. off, yeah, you and can, you love it. <laughs> 
Yeah, they put war pedals in everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they leave, they leave it to you to find out. It's a trap. Okay. <laughs> Listen to it. It's, it's, it is sort of war pedals. But... I think everybody's waiting for some Master of Puppets. <laughs> okay. enough because my right hand is gonna fall off <laughs> all right so let's try humbuckers right now right so this is my clean sound Again, great, really responsive even towards the humbucker. If you if you put a mid boost in front of it, right now I have uh, the general boss graphic equalizer, the GE7, the most basic one, set as a straight mid range pyramid and slight boost. So uh, if you mid boost it, listen to what it does. So, Something you can use. Well, it, yeah. it definitely cuts through so much better.
I think this review is at its end. Uh, what did you expect from this pedal and what did you get? Well, uh, it's a tough question. Uh, I, I was expecting it to be good, but it's pretty awesome, really. Uh, I was expecting the usual octave fuzz deal that you will get with loads of these pedals. They are really specific and usually they tend to sound tiny, but th this doesn't sound tiny at all. And I like the tweakability. Uh, I like the fact that you can switch the octave on and off. I like the fat mode. I like the I like the I like I like everything about it. And the paint job's cool. So yeah, uh, that's pretty awesome. My personal favorite is the octave off mm -hmm. and the low gain setting. <laughs> That, that was a real, real pleasant surprise to me. Uh, no, that's I, I, not something that other octave, uh, octave fast pedal would give you. No, this has the definition to it, and uh, uh, it's really usable in a band situation. So, uh, yeah, thumbs up, definitely. So, well, if you like the pedal, find KGK somewhere online, or we will put the link in the description below. Yeah. Uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. Pretty please. <laughs> And give us some feedback because we really exactly. need it. We are at the start. We, uh, we would also appreciate some any comments. You, how do you like our pedals? How do you like our approach to gear? So please comment below. And hopefully see you next time.